So uh, this is a video of me just talking about where I am in my spiritual inquiry. When I started making these videos, I said this was a process that I'm going through. So I think it's important that I talk about what I'm going through and maybe even how these videos that I've made have affected me. It's been interesting in the videos that I've made. Um, the first few videos I had an idea and especially the, the first video uh, levels of belief. This was something I thought about for years and um, was very easy to make a video about it. Now of course I had to kind of clarify what I, what I thought and make it easier to understand, but it wasn't something new. And you know, the, the other videos I had ideas, maybe rough or pretty clear. And by making the videos, I had to go into the topic more and it was very interesting. Like I, I learned a lot by making the videos. Now there were times, however, that, or some of the videos I made, that I had no plans on making. It's just after I made a video, well, af after I make a video, I just kind of relax and let go and see what, what rises up, what, what topic rises. And sometimes it's been kind of interesting because a topic will arise that I never really thought about before. But it's, it's interesting and so I'll go into it and make a video about it. Um, now, sometimes I'll have an idea about what I want to talk about, and that just doesn't seem to be right. And so, what I've been doing is just, in a sense, letting go. And just seeing what happens. Kind of getting out of the way. And I think this is something that's very important with spiritual inquiry, in a sense, is... knowing when to take a step back, let go. Almost have faith in what is coming. And I, maybe that's the correct word. And it's not faith that, I guess when we hear faith, you know, it's believing in something that there's no evidence for. Now this is, this is faith that I don't know, the intelligence of everything, but knowing that it's okay, it's okay to step back. And I've, I've seen this in my life so many times, and I, I think we, we hear about this with people who are in the zone, you know, in, in sports, they're in the zone, and time you know, slows down or becomes different, and it's just everything, it's in the zone or it's called flow. So I've seen this with music, uh, playing guitar at times where I lose touch with time and space and I, I mean I've, I've had experiences where I, I was music and when I noticed it, when I noticed it, it stopped. So I've seen what happens when I get out of the way. And I, I think that is a way to look at my, I guess to look at my videos. They are unlearning videos. I'm trying not to teach anything. And in a sense, I'm looking at things that I myself, I've believed or just ex things that I've, I've accepted without thinking about. Going into them and seeing that okay, there's nothing there or it's incorrect and letting them go. And so the whole process for me has been letting go. And that's how 
I've been doing the videos. Now, even when I don't make a video, it's, it's the same thing. I sit back and I wait for a topic to come up and nothing comes up. Or even I've, I've had more recently, I have this feeling of it, just be quiet in a sense. Just and see what happens. And of course, that's where insight comes up. And so what happened more recently is, is that I made the last video I made on evil and suffering. Again, which was a video that I had no plans on making. It's just that's what came up next. And I mean, just the idea of, of the devil and suffering, those videos, I don't know where they came from. I mean, I had ideas more recently about the devil, but these just, that, that came up and that was the video to do. But recently, there's been a feeling of just being quiet. And so what I noticed was I started seeing things in my life that maybe I have been ignoring or not, not just haven't noticed. Um, now, so I'm, I'm a parent and I think in the future, I would like to make a, a video on parents who do spiritual work because we see in many different religious traditions, the idea of, of the monk or, you know, the nun, not married, no kids. So you can focus on your spiritual search, your relationship with God. And I understand that. But there's also a lot that can be learned from seeing a person, in a sense, coming up in this reality. So I've learned a lot. And it's taught me to let go. Let go of things about myself. And so a lot of it, my first child, um, I had to let go of stuff, stuff that I was doing. Now, this was stuff that I, I think I was just wasting time watching countless videos on YouTube um, every day. And it's just like I couldn't do it anymore. And so I had to give up things and, of course, was much better off because of it. But I've also more recently, I can see our children reflect back what we do. And you see the bad parts. And so I, I've been seeing that with my children acting, well, I say critically, being critical or judgmental, opinionated, and seeing clearly that this is from me. I know one thing that is good, I think, is because I've been doing the spiritual work, I can see that. Perhaps if I wasn't doing it, I would just be angry and say, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? But I see that. It's me. Okay, and so I see that and I, again, I don't like that. I'm like, okay, so why? Why am I doing that? Why am I so critical? Now, this is not the first time that I've noticed that. Or people have told me, you know, you're critical, you're opinionated, judgmental. Now, this is one of the traps of doing spiritual work is if you're doing spiritual work and you're learning about yourself, it does seem to make sense that your opinion is more grounded in reality. You're noticing things more, perhaps. So it makes sense, right? But again, this is the trap of an ego. We'll say, of course, your opinion is better. You notice these things more. And I, I talked about this in my video about 
identifying the problems of identifying as being open minded. So if I looked at any opinion that I had, it's going to be correct. You know, I'm, I'm going to see, well, I have this opinion about this. Well, of course, I am explaining about myself. Okay. So it's the ego explaining to the ego why it is correct. So of course it's correct. So instead, you know, trying to look back or look, uh, take a step back and get a more general view of just being opinionated. Okay, why am I opinionated? What is that? And I noticed that there was a feeling of needing to be opinionated, needing to be judgmental. Okay, that didn't seem to make much sense. Why? Okay, so I, I was stuck, I was struck when I, I was looking at, okay, and I, I looked at, okay, when I compare myself to someone, like what I would notice was that if this person is better than me in this particular area, I would again kind of do a damage control where I would say, okay, the person's better than me here, but I'm better th at, at this. Okay, well, then they're doing this, but I, I can play guitar better. Well, he plays guitar. Well, I can, I can cook. Well, he can cook. Well, uh, um, you know, I, I, I can sing. You know, and I'm just jumping to something. And, okay, so I thought, whoa, 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 okay. Am I... So clearly, I can see in any part of me, there are people better than me. But I had, okay, what about, is there anyone just better than me? And I had this feeling of kind of... Eh. Obviously, yes. So there's going to be just people who every aspect of what my character is, they're better than me. But it was like, I, I had this feeling of, no, I can't say that, and I shouldn't say it. And that was the thing, because I noticed I shouldn't say that. Okay, well, that's, that's strange. Why not? And I, I really didn't, I didn't get any answer. So, and... At times like this, what I find is just to let go and just be quiet. And this is when I find I, I do true meditation where I'm not meditating to do anything. In a sense, I'm just being quiet. And sometimes in meditation, the uh, answer will rise. And other times, no. But the answer will come at a completely, seemingly random time. And that's what happened. I don't, I don't even remember when it arose, but I, I saw clearly that the reason that I'm thinking I'm better than other people is because then if I'm better, I don't have to do anything about myself. So in a sense, it's a defense mechanism. If someone is better than me, then that means there's things that perhaps I have to do. Improvement. Things I have to deal with. Now, it could just be the feeling that they're better than me. I have this negative feeling about myself. But if I'm better, and you know, like I was saying, I'm always trying to find that, that area I'm better at. And even if I didn't find it, it's, it's there. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really dig into it. Well, if someone is better, then I have to deal with that and deal with, which is obviously going to be pain, some issues that I'm not looking at. So this was surprising and it's not something I like to even talk about. So even making this video, but I, I, I have to, um, I said, when I make these, when I started making these videos, I said 
This is a process, so this is a part of the process. Doing spiritual inquiry, find out things about yourself. It's not finding, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I didn't know I was, I was this thing about myself. Oh, I'm, that's really great. No, it's finding out these bad things. Because that which is good, in a sense, is that background. It is the silence. And it is these parts of the ego that obscure. And I, I know that that's not quite right, but in a sense, that background silence. So it is the getting rid of, the letting go of these attachments, in a sense. So it's negative. And it's hard. And it can be very painful. I mean, this is something... Now, I've seen videos where they say the dark side of uh, spiritual work. And it's something where that's, if you have a teacher, it is helpful to help you through times. Because there have been times where I have noticed something in, let's say, in spiritual inquiry that almost in a sense, it seemed like it was too early. And it left me in some difficult places where I had, in a sense, I, I had conditioning that was still there, but I had removed the thing that would help me with that bad conditioning that you can understand. So almost like I, I took away the net while I still had the problem, the, my, my safety net. Not, that's not advisable. <laughs> and that's even something when I, I do these videos, um, I'm trying to have something that's balanced and looking at both sides of improvement, life improvement. So self-help, helping become a better person and whatever that, whatever that is, and you know, just being someone who can do, you know, better communication, being less angry. But then there's also that more absolute, the spiritual work. What is reality? Who am I? Doing them both. And I say there's two different things, but in a sense, they are the same thing. But some people can just focus on that spiritual work, go to the cave for 20 years, and, be, and that's what they want to do, okay. Other people, like I, am living in this world where that's not possible. I still have things to do. And so there has to be that balance. So that is what I've been thinking about. Now, what I would like to do, but I, I don't know if this will happen, um, I would like to make videos that connect to my process as I'm going through it, as opposed to something that I've looked at and I think that now I can explain. But I can't really say that's going to happen. I have no idea what the next video is. And that's the only way I can do it. That's the way I have to do it, is to, in a sense, step aside and see what comes about. Not worrying about if these videos are popular or not, if anyone's going to watch it, if anyone's going to watch this video. Because I know that when I get in the way, it's just, it's not good. Now, other people can do that. Other people have the ability to someone who's a great liar can do that. <laughs> I'd say a great salesperson. Um, 
the ability to explain and talk things that are not necessarily true. I don't have that ability. I think that if I'm saying something that I don't feel, it's very obvious. And so I have to go with sincerity. I have to go with how I truly feel, what is interesting, not what is what I think I should be saying, but what is actually true. That's the only thing. And if you're doing spiritual work, well, if you're doing self-help, you have to be honest. If you allow yourself to lie to yourself, well, then you allow yourself to obscure parts of yourself. You separate from yourself. And going back to what is the devil, you're, you're doing the devil's work, in a sense. Well, I think I've said enough. Maybe this video is too long. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I want to continue doing these updates and saying what things I'm working on and being honest with things that I'm learning about myself, the bad things that I'm learning about myself, because it's not going to be good things. Um, and then see what videos come up. All right. So I hope this is helpful. Until next time.